Hi, today we're going to be multiplying fractions and whole numbers. To do that, first off, we're going to be modeling the following problem. We have 4 times 1 half. So I'm going to model using 4 groups of 1 half. As you can see in front of you, you have 1 half appearing 4 times. So the question you have to ask yourself is how many halves are there in total? You have 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, and you have 4 halves. Now you could rearrange them as in tiles and it'll give you a grand total of two holes or if you simply add them one half plus two halves plus three halves plus four halves four halves is equivalent to two holes so four times one half equals four divided by two for our next problem, we have 3 times 2 thirds. Once again, we are multiplying 2 thirds 3 times. So 3 of 2 thirds. Um, so what we have here is 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds. We can also rearrange our, our fraction models to, to show that. So I have a grand total of six parts, and I'm arranging those parts into new partitions of thirds. And so in this case, I end up with two holes and no remainders. So my answer is two. You could also count the thirds, one third, two third, three third, four third, five third, six thirds. 6 divided by 3 also gives you the same answer, which is 2. For the next problem, we're going to be using a number line. Once again, we have 3 times 2 thirds. Remember, we are multiplying 2 thirds 3 times, which is the same thing as 2 thirds plus 2 thirds plus 2 thirds. We start off at 0. We move 2 thirds. From the spot we land, we move an additional 2 thirds. And from that spot, we move an additional two-thirds. So I've moved two-thirds three times. So this first jump is a jump of two-thirds. The second jump is another jump of two-thirds. And this last jump is another jump of two-thirds. So two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds will give us our answer, which in this case is two. We could also add them. 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives us 6 with a denominator of 3. 6 divided by 3 gives us 2. So this is how we use number lines when multiplying whole numbers and fractions.